Facebook friends, it's Tracy Grammer again and we are about to start our first workout in our challenge to the Arnold Classic. Um, I'm going to show you one exercise per muscle group. Remember this is for beginners so we just want to get every muscle woken up and, and moving and get our blood pumping and, and not hopefully not get too sick. Um, especially with all the toxins I'm sure we had in our system over New Year's. <laughs> Um, so basically how this is going to work is I'm going to do um, one exercise and um, I, I'll tell you how many sets to do and you just repeat the video that many times. So you'll do one set with me and then you can repeat the video you know, two more times if you have three sets total per muscle group. So sets are um, how many times you do a group of reps and reps are actually how many times you lift the the weight that that one lift is one repetition and you have groups of repetitions and those are called sets so there's your first step in uh, learning how to weight train so our first muscle group is going to be chest um, this is just a basic workout um, we're going to be changing our sets and reps and exercises and all that fun stuff but today we're going to just do um, one exercise per muscle group and you'll be doing three sets total 15 to 20 reps, again, this is just a beginner workout. First exercise for your chest, push-ups. Um, I'm going to put my knees down. I'm a woman, there's no need for me to have my feet up. If uh, you're a beginner, I also suggest you put your knees down. And we are going to do 15 to 20. Hands a little wider than shoulder width apart. And keep in mind that there are no directors here. This is the raw, so if I screw up, this is reality TV. <laughs> I'm not doing this over. <laughs> so um, this is what you get. So hands shoulder width apart, a little bit wider than that. Um, right below your chest, abs in tight. And you're going to go down and press up and breathe out. So breathe out when you come up. So you have your negative and your positive movement. You want to breathe out on your positive. So breathe out. And again, we're going 15 to 20. 15 is great. If you can push it to 20, go right ahead. I'm not great on my reps when I'm talking. <laughs> so um, we're going to go around 15 to 20. Let's go five more. And five. And four. Three. Two. And one. Good. And continue out if you can do a few more. Get down and stretch your chest. And hold it. So that's uh, one set of chest, and again, you're going to do two more. You can do those back to back, or just go through your circuit of exercises and repeat it uh, along with the video. Your next muscle group is going to be your back, and we're going to do a bent over row. Um, I suggest using dumbbells. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can go through the motion and squeeze, but for you ladies, fives, eights, tens are good starter weights. Men, you can you know go up from there. You can get some 15s. 25s, 35s, or just go with your 10s, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, and um, work from there. But this, uh, this routine is mainly going to be to tone you up and sculpt you, so um, you want to be able to get a good squeeze, so not too heavy. I'm going to be using 8s because I already have a pretty prominent back, so I want to just make sure I'm uh, tightening it. So bent over row, nice. Uh, arch lower back, little bend in your knee and stretch those shoulders down, back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And your positive motion is on a pull here, so when you pull, you breathe out. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Breathe out when you go back again. Nice, strong back, abs in tight. And I'm just gonna go five more. Again, I don't have a lot to do with my back. I don't wanna build it too much. Just wanna get some blood in there and put some water back in my muscle. Back and let's squeeze. So that's back. So we have chest, your push ups, back is your bent over row. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> Next muscle group is going to be shoulders. And again, this is another muscle group I don't really have to do a lot with. Genetically, I've got shoulders, but uh, just for the sake of showing you an exercise, um, we're, going to, we're going to do shoulders. So let's do a shoulder press, a wide stance. Sometimes people put one foot in front of the other if they start arching back. With this weight, I, there's no need for me to, but I do want to keep my core nice and tight. Start at 90 degrees and straight up, breathe out. 
positive is going up. Breathe out. Always keep those abs in tight. And straight up. Try not to drop too low. Try to stick around that 90 degrees. And I'm just going to go five more. You can push out a few more if you'd like. Breathe. Push up. And one. So that's your shoulder press. You want to stretch out afterwards. Stretch those shoulders. You want to stretch out throughout your whole workout, but definitely get those shoulders. Shoulders injured, uh, pretty easy. Shoulders, lower backs, and knees. I hear a lot about those. So um, you want to make sure you keep everything stretched out. Just go that route. Next muscle group is going to be triceps. I'm going to have you do a dumbbell tricep kickback. You're going to take the, uh, I'm just going to stick with my eights. Um, if you're a beginner, beginner, fives would be great. And then again, if you're a male, you can move up from there. Um, same stance as our bent over row. Uh, keep your arms locked in a 90 degree angle here. And you're going to just kick back and squeeze that tricep, the back of your arm. And all we women love to tighten up that area. And breathe out when you go back. There's your positive motion right there. Let's push and back, squeeze. And I always try to do a few more of these just because this is where I like to hold on to some extra body fat as well. Let's go five more, push back, squeeze five, four, keep that head straight, three, that's why I'm not looking at you, and two, and one. Good. You don't want to pinch a nerve and turn your head. So there's your triceps, back of your arms, squeeze those out. Really important squeeze. I always say quality over quantity, whether it be quantity of weights, repetitions, get a good squeeze in there, have good quality. And stretch them out and catch your breath. Grab some water, always be drinking fluid. Try to get three liters to a gallon in a day. I know it's tough, but it'll pay off. It's, uh, there's, I can't even begin, this whole, this workout would take forever if I begin, uh, began to tell you all the uh, benefits of water. Next muscle group, let's stick with the same weights, bicep curls, just a regular bicep curl down the middle. I'm going to take my weights, bring my elbows forward a little bit here, and up and squeeze your bicep. Stretch, abs and tight, same strong stance. Breathe out when you go up. Squeeze. Up and squeeze and get that good stretch. We want pretty long lean muscles. That's what I'm going for with the Arnold, so that's what we're documenting. <laughs> Let's go up five more. Stretch, squeeze at the top. Three more. And two, get a good squeeze. And one. So, that's your upper body exercises for day one. You have chest push-ups, back, bent over row, dumbbell row, shoulders, we did a dumbbell shoulder press, triceps, we did a dumbbell kickback. And biceps, we just did your basic bicep curl with your dumbbells right down the middle. So do that for your upper body two more times to finish out your three sets. Um, and let's get started with our leg exercises. We're not doing a ton this first day because it is your first day. And uh, we just want to make sure we work every muscle group. So here we go. We're going to do some squats. Again, if you don't have weights, go through the motion. If you do, I'd like to see you either put them on your shoulders or hold them right here down the middle. Uh, we're going to go toes straight, a little wider than shoulder width apart. And just make sure your knees stay in line with your toes. So if your toes are straight, your knees stay straight. If your toes are out, your knees go up. So we don't want to bust any knees up. And you're not doing squat, literally, no pun intended. So feet shoulder, a little wider than shoulder width apart, and you're going to squat down. You want to let that butt drop back. Keep your chest up, heels down and breathe out when you go up. That's your positive. Here's your negative, your positive. But back, up. Now, if you go down and you feel your hips are kind of turning in like that, that means you're at risk of hurting your lower back. Your hip flexors are tight. That's basically what that's saying. So just go down comfortably where you can, where your hips stay back. And then we can teach you how to stretch out those hip flexors too, as well. So you can get your squats lower. And breathe out. This is where I get winded. Even after working out this long, I still get winded. <laughs> Especially taking a couple months off from really having a routine to give you a good before picture. So again, back, let's just go three more. 
sit, heels down, and push from those heels. And if it bothers your knees at all, maybe a little turn with the toe out and your knees out would help that. Otherwise, you know, if it hurts extremely bad, you may not be a squatter. Unfortunately, sometimes that happens. So just be safe. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe when you're squatting. You don't want that knee to go over. You keep that butt back and keep those knees above your toes or behind them. Okay? All right, so grab some water and we're gonna finish up legs. Um, that was squats. Do about 20 reps of those, three uh, sets. And then we're gonna do a standing lunge to also work. That's also gonna work your quads and hams. It's gonna hit your glutes as well now. You're gonna put one leg in front of the other. You can hold weights if you want. Um, again, knee not going over your toe. Keep everything up. You put your hands on your side, hold weights, whatever, and just up and down like this. I keep all the pressure on that front heel. And breathe out and you go up. Push from the heel and up. Let's go five, four. I'm dropping a little bit in the back. It's okay, I like to get real low because I want a booty. And one, switch. Shake it off. And let's get that leg back. I'm trying to kind of zip through this because I don't want these to be too long and prolonged because I love to yap. So, so excuse me if I'm being a little brief on things. I just want uh, to keep these smooth. So again, all the pressure on your heel and up. Push, this is the leg you're working. This is support. You may feel it in this hip flexor over here, but um, that means you need to again, stretch them out. But all the weight and all the pressure should be here in this front heel. Let's go three, two, and one. Alrighty! <laughs> so, there's two leg exercises for you. Um, we're going to now go down to the ground and get some abs in. There's more leg exercises and whatnot, but three sets of each of those. Again, I'm going from a very basic beginning level. is going to be just fine for your first day. Um, and then we'll, you know, we'll progress from here. So ab wise, I want everyone on the ground. All right, we're gonna just do three. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> it's the talking. Um, I'm going to do three basic exercises and you can repeat those three times as well. And you'll be done with your full body workout. Um, first exercise will be bicycles. You're going to put your hands behind your head, bring everything up here, point those toes and twist each side, hitting those obliques. Breathing throughout the whole thing. Squeezing each side. I count these, one, one, two, two. Point those toes, take them slow, don't speed through them. Make them quality, quality, quality. Squeeze each side. And keep going. Squeeze. We're going to go 10 more, 10, 9, squeeze each side, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 2, and 1. Okay, there's your first ab exercise. Your second will be a flutter kick. Hands on your butt, feet out in front of you, point those toes, or we can flex, say let's point, and just move those legs, scissor them. Abs and tights. I bring my upper body up. I get that little extra oomph up top. Ten more. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And one. Okay? So that's your second ab exercise. And your last ab exercise is just going to be your basic crunch. It's on your back. Hands back, elbows back, and just a nice hold at the top. Breathe out when you go up. And up. And reaching sometimes, that's a little different angle. If your neck can give you that extra support, I can get up a little bit higher if I reach. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And that is it. <laughs> so, that's your beginning workout. Stretch out those abs. That's your beginning workout. 
um, like I said, three sets, 15 to 20 reps. Get yourself in weights. If you have any questions, email me, Tracy at TracyGFitness.com or Facebook me. Stretch out that lower back. And uh, I'll just keep uh, keeping you guys on track. Keep on keeping on. That's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you what I've eaten throughout the day. And you can, you know, work, work your magic with that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, hopefully, you're going to see me get in better shape because at this point, I'm dying just like everyone else's. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I hope you guys had a great new year. And uh, this will be posted today for your first workout. And your next posting will be in the next, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. Uh, I'd like you to do cardio tomorrow, 30 minutes, uh, moderate um, cardio. Not too much. You're going to be a little sore, but get a good stretch after that as well. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.